Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 50, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. And we did a little bit of orienteering around the docks, making sure that we got everything cleaned up that we can over there. And we went back to to search for a place to build a, um, a, a poison implant uh, or something that'll neutralize the poison. I might be able to do that if I can get to one of the bio workstations as opposed to a workbench. Oh, uh, well. All right. Uh... Well, I, at least I know I can. I'm pretty sure I've already had the option to build one and decided not to. So, uh, let's, uh, let's make our way through the Pazak Den first. Then we'll take a quick tour around the refugee sector. And then, and then we'll see what we need to do from there. I'm almost afraid to win with the exchange watching the tables. Oh, really? I need to, uh, I need to get the attention of some exchange people. How convenient. <laughs> Who let the likes of you in here? Dude, do, do, do you not see the sword I'm holding? That's how I got in here. Oh, you too. You too. Okay. Hi, discount. <laughs> Searching for game, human? Must be willing to lose if you play. No time for great human upsets and accusations. Very troubling. Very upsetting. Um... You got some friends waiting out front. Fine, let's play. Let's ask about the other players first, and then we'll mention the friends out front. I have time for Pazak human. No time for anything else. If <laughs> too difficult for you to understand, maybe human step away. Make room for another loser, yes? Uh, you know, you got some friends coming out. <laughs> friends? What are you talking about? Uh, the scary looking dudes. <laughs> Alright, so I can persuade Lai that there was a female Twi'lek asking for Gritty. She was very attractive. I could force persuade that he should go outside. That seems like the path to dark side points, because I know they're there to rough them up a little bit. So, some thugs looking to rough you up by the looks of things. Twick, that stankweed eating chubba face, I will not pay them no matter how long they harass me. I can stay here all day if it takes. Uh, then perhaps I should take you out to meet them? What? No, they throw me down the nearest garbage hatch? Maybe you deserve it, or I don't remember saying anything about caring. Okay. I'm not playing that kind of character. Actually, I don't like either one of these answers. Th this went down a path I didn't... I, I, I should have seen coming, but I didn't. Hmm. Mm. Let, let, let's go with maybe you deserve it. No, I'll do anything for you. Just tell me what to do. Well... I need to get... Uh, let's say you suddenly have a long stretch of bad luck when it comes to Bazaar. How many credits? Now, let, let's see, because I need to get the... I need to get the attention of the exchange. Uh, Madam Bystander over there mentioned that the exchange is watching the table, so let's, uh, let's see if we can influence the game. Yes, I'm already feeling my game slip away. Let's play some Bazaar. Yes, see? You've beaten me fair and square. <laughs> Oh, 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 I didn't mean to get the dark side. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> that, all right. Doggone it. I'm going to have to go do a good deed now. I got some dark side points. Okay. Yeah, I, nope. <laughs> That's not the funny part. All right, um. And here I am, rustling up booze to get dogs drunk, and now I'm bullying people into throwing a game. How did how did that happen? Is it just like you know you go to the hut homeworld and all of a sudden you you just turn into you're a monocle and a Cheshire cat away from turning into a Bond villain or something? Why do you have cookies? 
I, I will take some dark roast. Live.anonjr.com if you want to keep me in coffee. <laughs> All right. Hello, looks like Narshada finally coughed up someone worth my time. Uh huh. Hello yourself, gorgeous. Maybe I shouldn't say that with the maiden behind me. I'm trying to win influence with her, and I don't think I did that. Uh, I just want to play some Pazak. I've never had a wormhead come on to me before. No, I, I don't like either one of those two options. Um, ooh, do you have any extra cards? Because it looks like... It looks like you get forced into playing uh, Pazak more in this game than you did the last one. Or maybe it's just I'm running into more of that kind of stuff than I did the last time. Alright, so we got a flip card, three and six. Uh, this card changes the sign positive negative of all your threes and sixes in play. Mm. That's a little too variable. I like a plus or minus two. I really do like that one. Because I, I like the plus or minuses, and as much as I'd love a plus or minus five, I'm not usually in a position where that's going to help me as much. I usually need a smaller change in numbers. So let's go. Let, let's let's buy the plus or minus two. I'm not going to worry about the rest. We'll we'll close that out. Journal entry added. Oh. Okay. So I may need to to play Pazak with her after all. Let, let's come back to that one. Because uh, I feel like there's some other ones we got to worry about first. Swing this game shouldn't walk free. Space off. Oh, come on. Uh, they just might. Alright, what about you? Hello. You have caught me at a rare time. Usually there are many players who seek to play. Uh -huh. But you are fortunate to have caught me at a moment of quiet. A moment of quiet, you say? Uh, I don't... I didn't check if that was a minus 10. Although, again, I, I don't know that those kinds of big moves help you as much as they could or should. Unless it's just to keep you... Well, that could be a strategy too. Just keep yourself as low as you can to keep them from... And force them to either burn through cards or... Uh, or go bust. I'll have to think about that one. Alright, so let's go uh so why so many players. I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Pazak player. I'm afraid uh -huh. protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Pazak and probability. Why do I feel like I'm being hustled? Oh yes. I fear it's because I'm not, I'm simply not a skilled Pazak player. Nice hustle. All right. Uh, so why do you play? Why do you waste your time then? So if you're ready, all right, let's go. So why do you play? Why? I cannot help myself. No. In fact, every time I seek to find the answer to that question, I'm consumed with the need to come um, here and play Pazak. I'm concerned you... with the problem may lie with my memory core. Oh. Without routine memory wipes, you know, such degradation is known to occur, leading to instabilities. I fear my obsession huh. with Pazak is one such corruption. Um. My friend here could take a look at that. Because this sounds like you need to go to Pazak Anonymous. I am not sure I wish it fixed. I do find some degree of satisfaction in playing. Would you like to play? Um. All right, my computer skills are pretty high, so let's try that myself. I suppose you're right. I wouldn't want the problem to spread to my many other functions. Absolutely. You find the faulty program and delete them from the droid's memory. Oh, that feels much better. I cannot believe I went on and on about such a foolish game. Thank you, truly thank you. He knows that there's an unusual looking module attached to the droid's left arm. 
Um, but really, you successfully interfaced with the module. According to the memory core, the module is set to send burst transmissions at a set interval. The signal was omnidirectional, and therefore the receiver remains anonymous. This is the second droid we found like this, too. I thought that was just about, uh... Okay, so she's not playing Pazak anymore. Let's go to the journal. Uh, we got the Twi'lek that we need to talk to. We got the two thieves about Vaga's horde. Um, I've still got to find Lutra. No, Lutra's wife, sorry. Uh, we got to do the merchant thing. I need to find the stuff for the mechanic to change my ID signature. We still got the landing rights issue. Um, I need parts. I still need an emitter and a lens fixture. Um, is it in the completed quests? Oh, okay. I've managed to, okay. I've been I've been removing uh, removing obstacles and gaining some recognition at the Pazak Den. Cause I I think uh, yeah I've talked to everybody now except the Twilight. So let me do this because I know my luck. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. That way, if I start epically losing money, I can just restore the backup. I hate doing that, but uh, that might be an option. Hello, looks like Narshida finally coughed up somebody worth my time. Hello, yourself, gorgeous. Um, all right. No, I'm not going to do the hello yourself gorgeous. Let's uh let's just play some Pazak. Oh, I don't know if I can compete against one so skilled in the ways of winning. Why do I feel like I'm getting hustled again? That was magnificent. Thank you for such a stimulating game. That was it? I thought we were going to actually play. Journal entry added. Huh. Well, okay then. Uh, I I was expecting to actually have to play. Huh. So I've gained recognition. Oh, I was wondering when something was going to come with that. Uh oh, here comes the little guy. Ooh, he's so handsome. <laughs> you are big stuff now. I've won a few matches. I am the champ. I win Pazak all the time I win. You play me, come talk to me. Okay. So, now we find out the real deal. That this guy was the champion all along. All right, let's uh, save the game again, just because I'm paranoid like that. And uh, let's go play the champ. I don't know if it's going to force me to actually play a match or if it's just going to do a little time warp skippy, skippity skip. Hello, big stuff. You play Pazak now? Look, I hate the bat. All right, let's play. Oh... Ooh, how big do I want to wager? Max wager is 500 credits. There is a part of me that wants to wager to maybe 200, because I can easily afford to lose 200. On the other hand, I, I wouldn't mind winning more than 200. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and drop that down to 
Let's go. Let's split the difference. Let's go 300. Okay. Um, I've got a plus or minus three, so I can take that and add a plus or minus three. So I got two plus or minus threes. I'll get rid of the minus two, add a plus or minus two. And let me get rid of the plus six and add the double. And let's go with that. Oh, neither one of those helped. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Hmm. I can drop this card and win the first hand right now. On the other hand, I'm not, <laughs> no pun intended. I'm not sure that I want to waste uh, waste my cards because the longer I can hang on to these, the higher the likelihood of actually winning. Or so I'm told. And if I go over, I've got a, a couple of plus or minus cards I can drop if I have to. So let's... Oh, bloody hell. Um, It's going to be a loss either way. Because I'm going to match, and it's going to count as a tie. All right. Um, let's uh, shoot. Okay. Oh, we both. Oh, he used a double card. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Mm. Twelve, fourteen. 13, 5, 6, 7. All right, so I could hold at 18 and hope that he doesn't have. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go 18 and stand. Oh. Oh, that, oh, that bum. Okay. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. 15. Ah. Hit me one more time. Oh, are you kidding me? All right. I can burn another card. And I li oh. He's got a really special deck. Yep, the opponent wins the set. Shoot. Although he's burning through his cards now, too. He's only got one more card up his hand. Uh, 12, 22. Oh, he went over. Okay. 16. We'll take one more hit. Oh, oh, nope, nope, there's no rescuing that. That minus four is still going to put me at 21, and this is Bazak, not Blackjack. That plus or minus two, that, that, that's even less useful than the minus four. Doggone it. I've been defeated. The champ is the champ. You know when. Play again? I know. Uh, all right. So here's the question. Do I want to cheese this and restore from the save game? And, um, and then play again with the same 300 credits? I'm not above that. I just don't like doing that on screen. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I'll make some money somewhere else. Let's try this again. Let's try the champ. All right. Let's play. I am not. Uh, let's go small wagers. Uh, let's do 100 credits. 
If it gets too bad, then uh, I, I kind of wish there was an easier way to get to adjust your credits too. Like, no, yeah. just hold it and wait. Watch, I'm gonna drop this Joker down to a hundred credit bet, and that's when I'll win. All right, uh, I'm gonna stick with the same deck. I just got a bad luck of the draw. I really need more of these plus and minus cards. All right, let's play. All right, so far so good. Eleven. 18, um, all right, so I can do 20 and hold. I don't like burning cards that early, though. Let's stand and see if he beats it. Yeah, okay, so now I'm forcing him to use his cards. That got him the first win. He's holding at 18. 14... So I could drop a card and win right now. Let's uh take our chance with one more card. 16. Hmm. All right. So I could use the plus two to tie and make it a match. That's the waste of a card. He's holding. So I can. Oh, and he burnt a card to do it. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and win this up. I don't like the big card out the gate. 14. Or do we hold it 19 and hope he can't make 20? Now, let's try our luck. Such as it is. Ooh, 17's a tough one to hold on. Uh, let's go 19 and stand. Oh! Oh, it, doggone it. I wasted a card for nothing. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get as close as we can. Ooh. Let's take one more card. Bam. Yes. Oh, I won on the 100 credit wager. All right. The champ lose. That's not right. Play again. All right. Let's do it. Let me wager 100. That's why it's not, it's not that bad when I lose again. Or on the off chance that I win again. Oh. Well, just notice the time too. All right, let's let's see if we can finish this uh, Pazak game, and then uh, and then we'll call the episode. Come on, get down to that hundred credit bet. I am not blindly taking the max bet. Oh, so glad I didn't do that. All right, wager. Here we go. Let's play. Are you sure? Yes. Ooh, all right. This is probably the best random side deck I've got. Or the best random selection out of a side deck I've got. Now, I've got a lot of options uh, for some moves here with this one. All right, so let's end turn. 15. So I go up to 18 and hold. All right, let's, uh, let's try our chances with one more card. Ooh. Oh. Oh, shoot. Doggone it. Nope. Oh. Try this again. 14. 17 is not a good place to hold. Are you sure he doesn't have something up his sleeve? All right, let's get that to a minus three. 
Oh, wait. How does he win the set? We both had 20. Hmm. I smell cheating. 15. And this seems awfully familiar. Oh, but now it's tied? Okay. Or does he have a trump card that every time he drops it down? I'm going to have to start looking at the Pazak decks more. <sighs> Seven. Ten. Ah. Uh. I could take my chances that I draw four. That's the only way I win. Every other option is I lose. 19. Doggone it. Yeah, you, you can only do one card at a time, so... Uh, Doom. I have been defeated. The champ is the champ. Let's play fuzzball. Actually, let me uh, let me stay with me on the live stream. I will be playing some more. But if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for the YouTube episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.